Welcome to the Rated G for Gamers podcast, episode 78. I'm your host, Dave Rotino, and this is my co-host, Dan, the most patriotic man in the world, Robinson. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, hold up, plus, hold up, plus. It's me. It's me. Special, Whoa. special 4th of July episode coming to you live to tape from 4th of July. <laughs> it's coming to you live. It is. Well, I mean, it's live right now. We're live. We're live. We're live, and we take. We're going to go on vacation because it's the Fourth of July weekend. We're having a four day weekend. Well, Mm -hmm. some of us have a four day weekend. Oh yeah, and and some of us are just going to take a four day weekend because they can. (laughs) Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's glorious. I just have to say thank you to my company. Uh, They did the right thing, and they gave us that Monday off. And I did the right thing and took off. Thursday and Friday, so I'm making it a long vacation. Well, you, you do, what are you doing for the? What are you doing for Fourth of July? Uh, I am. Uh, I'm going down to the Jersey Shore. You and the lady and, going uh, to the shore. You yep. going to the shore? We are. We are definitely going to the shore. Small okay. crew we got. Uh, yeah, yeah. Got a little. Uh, got a little place down there that uh, I get to use from time to time, right on the beach. So very excited about that. See while while Dave while Should Dave is, is is lazying out on the beach, I'm gonna mm-hmm. be putting it, I'm gonna mm-hmm. be putting in work on that PS4 and and that Switch. Ah, see, you're gonna be catching up on those games, right now. So. I'm gonna be catching up on my back wall, I guess. Uh-huh. I, I I mean, yeah, I, you know, I have I have like brunch plans, but I, I don't really have any like solid you know plans to go away or anything. Mm-hmm. So I think I'm just gonna you know sit back and uh, start playing some games. Oh, very nice, very nice. So as we always try to start the show. Mm-hmm. What are you playing? Well, uh, I've been playing Broken Age, uh, courtesy of Limited Run Games. Uh, I've been playing Tekken 7. Uh, still? still? Yeah. Are you, are you, wait, wait, wait. Are you still playing this on like super hard and still on the second level? No, no. I bumped. I was on level six, thank you, on super hard, and I bumped it down to normal. I got up I got up to the robot when you had to like beat the crap out of the robot, and uh, Elisa just kind of came like, she came in guns a blazing. It was no good. It was no good. And I just got fed up. So I put it back down to normal. I'm making uh, decent progress now. But honestly, I've been like kicking ass in the treasure battle mode. Uh, and also online. I've been I've been mopping people up. So he's, you mean, he's been hitting that, that two button combo cheese. I'm okay. feeling two button combo, please. It's at least <laughs> three combo buttons. Cheese. At least it's, it's at least three buttons. Come on. Gotcha. It's left right, punch, right that. punch, left punch. And I, I do a little low, do a low leg sweep. I Gets them every that. time, but I have to. I have to say, uh, I give Namco big props. Uh, I know we kind of talked about it, and I, I wasn't a hundred percent sure if it was this franchise or not. But they managed to get each character to speak in their own language. That is fantastic. So if okay. the guy's from Mexico, he will so, speak so, Spanish. So, so taken from someone who's not a you know a Tekken connoisseur. Mm-hmm. They, they speak different languages? <laughs> yes. So, uh, as of Tekken 5, they started doing that. Okay. So, if you notice, like, there, there is a handful of Japanese fighters, which is... I did not play is, Tekken 5, just for the record. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Well, you, you, you own it now, though, don't you? I, I went out and bought it when I got Tekken 7. I went out and bought all the Tekkens. Mm-hmm. Well, I already had Tekken 1, 2, uh, one, two and 3 on a PS1. Mm-hmm. But I did go out, and I bought all the Tekkens. All right. So, so I do have them. Nice. Whenever you know, I want to get in my backlog. Yeah, honestly, like this weekend. I mean, five is great, but honestly, seven is the same. I mean, not like the same, but I mean, you can get a very similar Tekken experience with seven. Okay, you know. but did they? But they started the language talking in their own language. The and- five, five was the one where they kicked that off. In yeah, I think I think all the other ones were either just like straight up all English or all Japanese. You could like talk. Well, what about? Me. Well, what about six? Uh, six also I think does that as well. Yeah, six okay. has it too. And I think the Tekken Tag Tournament two, which came after six and before seven, I believe also has it. Okay. Now, okay. what is the biggest difference between six and seven? Now, I played seven. I beat, I, you know, I beat the story mode. Uh-huh. Uh huh. You know, and that was it, right? I'm, I'm not a huge, mm-hmm. you know, on. I'm not. I'm not an online guy. 
right? Sure. I'm not going to play online. Sure. I'm not a tournament guy or anything like that. We'll, we'll play fighting games whenever we, you know, I'm at your house and you're at my house. Mm-hmm. But I'm not yeah. a big, I'm not a big, you know, I mean, I, I'm a co-op tournament guy, right? Mm-hmm. Pass the control. So mm-hmm. uh, I'm not a big online guy. So what's the biggest difference between six and seven? Because I did play six mm-hmm. when it came out. Uh, I never played five. Um, I mean, honestly, between six and seven, the gameplay is still the same. Uh, there's the destructible walls, the destructible floors. The character roster got switched up a little bit. Um, there's some people in six that aren't in seven. Yeah, I mean, there's some improvements to the online uh, story mode. How they did it now is kind of new, I think. Like the way they did it with just like one single story and then you can play like each character's like single little mission thing or whatever um i think that is kind of new like that presentation um so i mean it's still the same tekken game at the core not not to say that that's a bad thing you know i think it was solid they just they just kind of they just kind of bolted on more stuff and put more polish on it better graphics you know and, you know, right. gameplay tweaks just like they do in uh, Street Fighter. You know, they'll, like, kind of tweak the moveset slightly to make it more balanced. But, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So what else, what else are you playing? Uh, and uh, Wipeout. Uh, the Wipeout Omega You're Collection. You're still playing Wipeout? You're still I, playing the Omega Collection, man? I'm, I'm st- like, we just came out, like, last week. I don't know. I don't know what you want. That was like two weeks ago. Listen, like listen, ago. I, I'm not the kind of person that just buys games and plays them for a minute just to say that I played the games <clears throat> like someone I know. Hey, 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 I'm still playing Wipeout. <laughs> I'm still playing, oh, I'm still playing, oh, all right. I'm all still right. playing Wipeout. All right, there you go. Uh, there you, go. I, you know, it, it's Wipeout is very frustrating because I, I definitely like to play it on a higher difficulty. Yeah, it is. It is a very difficult game. Uh, I am in the. I am in the same boat. I am having to redo the early races over and over again. And I never played. Good. And I never played Wipeout on on the Vita. Who was mm-hmm. it? Twenty forty eight. Something like that. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I've, been, I've been playing that. I've really been trying to play the Vita. One. I have the Vita one though. Funny enough, mm-hmm. which is super. Which is kind of rare to get now. That and um, Gravity Rush. Those, oh yeah. Those are like. Two two games that are like super super they're they're becoming super rare on the Vita mm-hmm. right about now. So thank God I, I picked those up early. Yeah. Um, so I've been playing Wipeout. Uh, I've been playing. Oh, listen, Dave, you gotta buy Cave Story. Oh my week. God, you you, you, you were, have to buy it. You were telling me about this offline. I know Cave Story is a good game. The Cave Story Plus, I think, for the Switch, right? I gotta yes. get it. I gotta get it. I, get I, it. I will. Most I don't know. I, I have. I have the case. I have Cave Story for the 3DS, which is another game that's it's that rare. It's not hard to get. It's just the, the price has gone up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't played it for 3DS, but it definitely played it for the Switch. If you like, it's like. What did I tell you before? What was the analogy? It was like Mega Man meets Metroid. Metroid. Right. It was like if you, you get the upgrades if, and all that. It was like if you put Mega Man in the Metroid universe. Mm-hmm. Right, so uh, it's it's like super weird. Well, even though it's just super, the story is super weird. Don't really care about the story, but it's like you gotta keep going back and forth to progress mm-hmm. up, upwards. So, um, I gotta say, I made it to the last boss, well, which I think is the last boss, and it's super cruel, just like old games where they don't give you a save, right? Because mm-hmm. you gotta beat the boss like four times. Oh my god! And you get no save. There's no save. When you beat the boss, well, like when you when, when you when encounter you get, when you, you actually engage form, the right? when you engage the boss, mm-hmm. you get to pass all four of them uh, on whatever li- whatever life you know you have, what you accumulated. You got to you got to play it from there. Mm. So uh, it's super, and then, and then the final boss, he, you know, it gets, turns into this huge monster, and it's just like all the sprites flying at you everywhere. So you got to make sure you, if you have one of those extra life boosters, like in your inventory, you got to keep that handy. Try not to use it when you're facing them the first three times. Mm-hmm. So, and I hope you only beat them four times, right? Because I don't know. There, <laughs> yeah. could be a, there could be a fifth time. I don't know. That if could be a if you have to beat times. one more form, you're gonna you're gonna end up with a broken switch. <laughs> yeah, I can guarantee you. You cannot do. You cannot do any more. So I was I was telling you like um, I I have like 43 lives, right? I'm sure that I'm I'm sure you could probably get more. I just didn't find all of them. Mm-hmm. Uh. 
you can't go back by the way like once you get up to this level like to the boss level like you can't go backward you can't go down all right so i can't go back and explore to see if i can uh, find any more uh any more lives but don't but don't let the 40 the 45 lives like don't let that fool you mm-hmm. because it's like you get a it's, you get a small little you know bar for each of those lives and they keep going down and the life goes down. So it's like, a, I say more like a power meter. They say lives. It's more like a power meter. Right. Right. So you, you know, if you get hit like 15 times, you know, 40, 45 lives turns into 18, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? So it's very, that that's very deceiving. Don't let that deceive you. Mm-hmm. But you have, I do have one of those uh, uh, extra life boosts. So it boosts me back up to 45. So, oh, nice. so I, 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 I'm at, I'm at like 18 at the final mm-hmm. uh, stage, which I paused and just cut the switch off. <laughs> and I was like, I gotta come back when I'm like ready to do it. Right. So, sure. all right. All right. Well, go, go, go. You gotta play, you gotta play cave story. Mr. 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 Ye of lesser skill. It's fine. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I guarantee you will beat this game soon. I will. You know, I won't take 10 years like some people do. Well, Why? well, I'm it's sorry. Okay. I like to play it's games okay. on hard. You all right? Uh-huh. If you if you're gonna go and reference my Batman Arkham City playthrough again, which I have mentioned is perfectly fine. I I I put myself in that position. I I chose my fate, but yeah. I, I, hey. I I emerged victorious. Dave pops I up. Beat the I beat it. I know what happens after Arkham, <laughs> and everyone's just like. Yeah, we're on the fourth game now. <laughs> yeah, I, I, literally, literally, uh, Arkham Knight was like out for a couple months already. I'm like, I beat the first one. Oh <laughs> yeah. god, it yeah. felt so good though. It felt. I good. know, and you're like, don't spoil it for me. I'm like, dude, it's been out for ten years. <laughs> what are you doing? Come on. Oh. So, all right, yeah. all right. So, I mean, at that end, you'd be surprised. Mm-hmm. I, 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 you know, unlike some people, I am man enough to admit this. <laughs> Uh-huh. Well, good I played, on you. I played, yes, it's true. It's damn true. Uh-huh. I played a little bit of Just Dance, the demo on Switch. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is there video of this? There is no video did of you, this. Did you connect this to Facebook and upload your uh, upload If your it dance? was, I, w- I would burn it. I would oh. burn it. I played a little bit of Just I played a little bit of Just Dance. The demo. I got the demo. I didn't pay 60 bucks. I'm, I refused to play 60 bucks for, for a game that I'm never going to play. Mm-hmm. Ever is never. It will never be considered in my backlog. <laughs> it would just be. It would just be on the shelf as a coaster. Yeah. Right? So you're gonna, you're gonna actually coaster. get this. You're gonna actually get this. I mean, if it's in a bargain bin one day. Yeah, but I'm uh, not gonna it will eventually be in the bargain bin. If it's in a bargain bin or, I mean, or a, you, a could probably get, you could probably get Just Dance 2014 fairly fairly cheap. Uh no, I'm good. I'll pass. <laughs> uh, so I got the demo, and I was like, you know what? I'm a little intoxicated. Let's let's try this out. Oh I took the Joy Cons out, and I uh, I can I feel ridiculous. No, no, no. I I, I want to know. Sorry, sorry, sorry to sorry to cut you off, but I want to know what song you danced to. I don't know. I was I was I was highly intoxicated. Uh, <laughs> I, was highly, I was highly intoxicated. I was highly intoxicated. I don't uh, remember. You were you were dancing uh, to some Rihanna. I know it. Or Lady uh, Gaga, I know. You it. know, you know what, you know what. Sometimes, sometimes you just, sometimes you just gotta shake it. You know uh-huh. I mean? That's right. You gotta shake it. It's a workout, so, though, right? Like, like you got all, you got a little, you got a little winded, right? I, I felt a little silly, yes. Uh huh. Well, there's that I, too, but I mean, you know, I mean, you know, I felt silly, just like I saw uh, Dave playing Just Dance at the arcade when we were uh-huh. in Portland. Uh, you mean, you mean Dance Dance Revolution? That is a completely different game. <laughs> Same difference. Whatever it's, you know, it's good exercise and it's fun, you know. So I look silly. I have zero coordination, but my God, are they fun to play? I one day uh-huh. I will pl- I, I will do it for the fans. I will do- one day, one day. That day is that the mm-hmm. day has not come yet. Mm-hmm. But I, I will. You know what? I will buy the game and I will I will I will I will actually play the game. You don't even need if, to do that. I got I got if, copies if, for the Xbox. If if Mike plays with me, oh, there you go, throwing the gauntlet I, out there. I'm throwing a challenge. I'm throwing a mm-hmm. Just Dance challenge out there to Mike. If you listening, come on, Mike, I, Mike, Mike, step up. I challenge you to a Just Dance dance off. There it is. There it is. Gauntlet throwing, gauntlet and throwing. we will post it on our Instagram page. Oh, you better believe we will. So 
I've th- I've I've now I've thrown the challenge out the just the JD challenge. Mm, very nice. Very so, nice. anyway, since you have a couple, you've had a couple of days off. Uh huh. Your, your 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 vacation before for your vacation. That's right. You've been hitting you've been hitting the Salvation Army and Goodwill is pretty hard. You, oh, you kidding pickles? me? You kidding me? I I I wish I hit it a couple of days earlier. Or, or did you get? Or, or did you get any good shovelware? I should say. I got. Oh, I got a ton of good shovelware. Check the Instagram, folks. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Shovelware is the glue. That well, I know you picked, up, you, picked together. Up, you picked up. You picked up Broken Age for PS4 recently. Yeah, I, I did. You, I did. You, you got that on um, uh, Limited Run. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Limited Run Game. Shout out to them. Um. Yeah. I mean, I. Uh, I, I, before, before, well, actually after hitting the Salvation Army and the Goodwill, I hit the GameStop and picked up, pick up the Madden games that I was missing. I'm trying to get them all in chronological order for whatever came out on the system. Uh, okay. so I, I picked up 08 and 13, right? For a couple bucks. Um, got the Namco Museum for PS2, the, uh, the Wii Fit Plus for the Wii, obviously. Wolfenstein The New Water for PC. Thanks to my co-worker's recommendation, he's got to play this game. Lo and behold, at the Goodwill is a copy of Wolfenstein The New Water. Serendipitous, I think. Okay. Uh, picked up Play Action Football for the Game Boy. <laughs> inbox yeah. Complete. Oh, wow. Oh, it is okay. my well, first different. Inbox Complete Game Boy game. Okay, that's different. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I had to pick it up for like it it was like two bucks. I was like perfect. Perfect. And picked up one of the best games of all time, Half Life Two, Game of the Year edition. To top it all off. What 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 system? What system? PC. Oh, for the PC, of course, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of sports games in there, I have buddy. To say, I yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. There's a handful. Yeah, right. but yeah, but if you're going after a Madden collection, you know that, that, that's cool. Yeah. And I will say and they're that, not they're not going to break the bank. Like you can get all of the Maddens pretty cheaply. And I, and I will say this: that new Madden game that's that's coming out uh, later this year, Madden eighteen. Oh, the greatest of all time. Uh, that story mode has nothing really to do with football. It's it's like having a Telltale game in the, in the Madden game uh-huh. in, in the same one. Yeah. So so I haven't bought a actually bought a Madden game. I think the last man game I bought was for um, for the Wii U. Oh my god! So I, and before that, I, and before that, I don't think I actually bought a, a man game. I think it was just you know it was like part of a, a, a lot, right? So sure. I haven't actually played a man game in a while. Sure. I'm looking forward to buying this man game and playing <laughs> just for the story. Story, mode. story, story mode got you roped in. <laughs> it did. It did. Wow. So. Okay. So, all right. So, I picked up Dragon. I picked up Broken Age as well. But I got it for the Vita from mm-hmm. Limited Run Games. Uh, keeping, I up that, up, keeping up that Vita love on Vita Island. I am on Vita a Island. Of, <laughs> the I'm last stranded. surviving fan, Dan I'm Robinson. Stranded. I'm stranded. I, oh. and I, picked up, I picked up that game Demo for the Vita. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, got, I got a couple of... I didn't get... Not a lot of good uh, Salvation Army pickups. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got Saints. I got Saint for a Wii. For the Wii. I don't uh, even know that game. I got Alone in the Dark for the Wii. Uh huh. And I picked up Speed Racer for the Wii. So, but I got a bunch of Wii games. Hmm. Yeah. So. Uh, All right. So I gotta give a shout out to Luki. Luki mm-hmm. Games. I got a uh, Panza Dragoon Order for the original OG Xbox. Uh huh. I picked up. Uh, oh, also I, I had a uh, Bloodstone. Bloodstone 007. PS3. Oh, right, right, right. James Bond that. game with uh, Daniel Craig. Which Daniel Craig? And James I got Bond. an expedition. And James I got an expedition uh, demo game for uh, the OG Xbox. Demo. Yeah, that's so weird. I never. I mean, I've never. Oh, it's like uh, it's like the um, it's like those uh, PlayStation demo discs. Yes, but for the yeah for the OG Xbox, yeah, I never yeah. had. I never. I never seen those before. Mm-hmm. Like I, I, like it's actually in the actual regular game uh case usually they're, they're in like like a flap or something but mm-hmm. this is that kind of real game case right so, it's 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 the it's the small jewel case right no it's a really regular xbox game case oh game nice. nice with a manual and everything mm-hmm. well like you know i'm sure it's promotional stuff mm-hmm. uh and I'll, i picked up uh charlie blast territory for the n64 right 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 okay and and i gotta give a shout out to jjgames.com uh, mm-hmm. i picked up tetris 
slash Dr. Mario for the Super for Super Nintendo. Oh, that's a classic. That's a classic. That 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 right there, that right there is a game for the ages. And I gotta say, because uh, the different the big one of the biggest differences between Lukey games and JJ games. Uh, well, Lukey games gives you points, right? That you can mm-hmm. accumulate and, and and use to buy certain games, right? Which yep. We know I got, that's how I got my Earthbound. You got your free copy of Earthbound. We we, we can't Earthbound. can't stress that enough, folks. I know, I know. Thank you, Lukey. Love you. Uh, and I got a lot. I got a lot of points too. So mm-hmm. I, I I gotta use them. I just don't know if I want to use it for one big one more big game or a couple of uh, medium games that are still expensive, right? Right. right. So, uh, but JJ Games shows you a picture of the game you're actually purchasing, so right. you can pick which game you. So, I got Tetris slash dr mario and you know it's 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 not expensive but you know the, the ones with the good labels were a little you know they're a little up there in price that i didn't want to spend at the mm-hmm. time uh so i picked the one with the broken you know the ripped label right yeah. it was the ripped label it was a burnt it looked like it was burnt right <laughs> well that, that could be you know so and it was dirt it was like dirt cheap and i got it and they sent me something saying hey sorry that one was you know i guess that one was 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 gone, misplaced, lost, or maybe it didn't work. They maybe they tested it, it didn't work, mm-hmm. and they gave me one with a good label. <laughs> so I can't uh, I can't argue with that. There you go, there you go. Very nice, very nice, nice little uh, nice little uh, pickup. All right. So before we go to break, I just want to bring up something that we talked about last week. You or I had said Metroid is a top tier franchise. No, 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 no. And you I said, said you said, you said, no, it's not. I said, said no, it's not. A system, I said it's not a system seller. That's what I said. Well, regardless, regardless, I would, which, I would argue which, that it is a system seller. Which everyone knows. Everyone, I mean, Nintendo has said it. All of the j- gaming journalists say it all the time. It's a known fact that it's not a system seller. That's so, that's subjective. You can't you can't just say that it doesn't sell systems. I think I think it did very well for the GameCube. I think uh, it sold phenomenally well the the OG Metroid. I will I will admit wholeheartedly, and this is this is definitely a fact. It does not sell well in Japan. Um, they weren't really that crazy about it. The first one did well. I think the other ones kind of got a little more Americany, a little bit. I mean, it's you know it's based off of Alien or the Alien franchise. Which it is, was highly influenced by Alien. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is you know, which is a very American Hollywood uh, and, film franchise. So, and, and I mean, I never said it was a bad game. Obviously, no, no, no. I know you're not saying that, but I mean, because I mean, Super Metroid is a lot of people's favorite game of all time. It it's, is. Uh, it's, it's on the list. It's on the list. Much, right? Very much. And we're we're and, gonna we're gonna definitely. Uh, that's actually. Uh, we're gonna talk about that in the news uh, when we go to the break or after the break, I should say. Because uh, uh, Super Metroid may be coming back to a uh, home console very soon. But, but, I just wanted to throw some numbers out there. Metroid Prime, worldwide sales, 2.84 million units sold. That's, that's nothing to sneeze at. To date. Yeah. <laughs> get it, get it, get it right. To well, date. Uh, yes, yes, all of these numbers are going to bring up are to date. The original Metroid, 2.73 million units to date. Uh, yeah. Metroid 2, The Return of Samus for Game Boy, 1.76 million. Pretty good. Metroid Fusion for Game Boy Advance, 1.68. Don't think, don't think Metroid 2 was selling Game Boys. But I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a, it, listen, it's, every, the it numbers, the numbers known, say that it's doing well. It's widely known not to be a system seller. It's, but, but it sells, especially in America. Like Listen, those numbers I'm not, are good. I'm not those, saying those it, numbers are good. I'm not saying it's a flop. I'm not saying it's a flop by any means. By any means, I'm not saying it's a flop. And I think, and it's a, it's a, listen, a great game. And Prime re-energized the franchise, right? Yeah. Think, oh, 100. Like, it brought know, it back into the limelight. Yeah. And I give you, I give you, I give you Super, you know, Super Metroid Prime One and 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 regular Metroid, but those sequels didn't. Those sequels didn't sell systems. They didn't sell as well as Nintendo wanted it to sell. Well, were, I mean, again, were, again, were, again, 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 especially, again, especially, it does, it does not yeah, do well in Japan, especially You're in right. Japan. Yeah, it doesn't do well in Japan, and and you know, I stated that last week too. But I mean, just just for some comparison, 
you know, I pulled up I pulled up some other numbers here. Uh, you know, looking at say, okay, the Donkey Kong franchise, right? Uh-huh. You look at definitely not a system. So, <laughs> what do you Donkey mean? Kong. The Donkey Kong franchise? You think the Donkey Kong pushes units? You think of Donkey Kong when it came out with the Switch? People would have been flying. Donkey to Kong play Country Donkey Kong. sold nine point three million units. No, because we need something to play. Nine point three million Wii. units. You're telling me that's not a system seller right there? That's insane. That's I don't insane. Think, uh, Donkey Kong does. It's seller. it's it's not Mario. It's not Zelda. And not Mario, and also not and also Donkey it's, Kong Country nine point three million units is much better than Mario. So it's not the best example. I mean, Donkey Kong Country is probably the most successful out of all of the Donkey Kong games. But I mean, like Donkey Kong Jungle Beat or Donkey Kong Returns 3D, Tropical Freeze. Um, you know, Metroid is, uh, the Metroid games are doing at that at that level or better wait, wait, in terms of sales. Wait, wait. How, how, how much did Donkey Kong sell? Donkey Kong Country, the first one? Nine point three million. And how much did uh, Metroid Prime sell? Well, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. It's a bad example there. But some of the games <laughs> in the series. That's what I thought. The, that's, what, that's what I thought. That's but what some I thought. of the I mean, games in the series are doing much worse than the Metroid games. Again, Donkey Kong Country Returns, Returns 3D, uh, Tropical Freeze, um, you know, Donkey Kong Land Three. You know, there's yeah, a handful no, of no. games. Handful of games that did not do as well as most of the Metroid games. You know, you look at you look at you look at some of the Yoshi games. You know, Yoshi's Woolly World, one point three seven million units. Didn't, no one would ever confuse Yoshi's Woolly World with pushing Wii U units. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, but like, but like, then 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 you you're really just down to the big three. You're down to Mario. You're down to Zelda, and you're down to Pokemon. Right. Don't forget. Don't forget about. Don't forget about Kirby, the system killer. Mm, well, there you go. Yeah, not <laughs> not a not well, except, a except for the not switch. A, not a uh, top tier. Except for the switch, because we're gonna, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get a Kirby game in, in in like the first two years of its life. We'll of see. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. So, we'll see. I mean, honestly, honestly, look, like look, look. It it, it is semi subjective, but Nintendo doesn't look at. And this is and this is a fact because they've said it, mm-hmm. right? This is this is this is something that they've widely said that they don't they don't look at Metroid as being a system seller. One of the reasons is because it doesn't sell well in Japan. It doesn't, but I where mean, where Nintendo is. So and, and 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 I think they did a great thing because when was the last Metroid game we got? Not Metroid Federation Force. <laughs> not 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 even counting that. What was the last Metroid game we got before? Like a real not other, well, are, are you referring to Other M or are you referring to other Metroid M, Prime was, 3 Corruption? No, 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 the Other M was a Metroid game. And it was trash. It was no it, good. It, it, it was it was it was considered bad. Uh, it was when did bad. that come out? Awful. When did that come out? That 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 came out 2010 for the 2010. Week. So so what they did was and they had a great strategy. They did nothing else with Metroid, right? They made you miss it, right? Because everyone was clamoring the, the 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 niche audience that like is super in love with like those Metroid games I kept asking for it, right? I, I, I wouldn't and, necessarily say it's a niche audience because based on the amount of the 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 amount of fan feedback that that came out of that like three second clip of like here's the number four and then here's the words Metroid. Well, let's let's see. I, it. I don't know. You know let's see. Let's see if they actually go and buy it, right? Oh, like, they're let's, they're let's, definitely going to buy it. Hey, let's trust wait. Me. Let's wait. Let's wait and see if they actually buy it. I think. I think. I think people are going to be all over this. I think they're building it in house. They're definitely going to promote it. But let's you know. let's. I, I I you know I I I do trust Nintendo. Mm-hmm. But let's let's. I want to reel back some of this enthusiasm because it's right. in development. Right. We haven't seen. It. It's not like we saw gameplay. Right? We no, saw no, 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 and we'll, we'll 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 definitely see gameplay. Probably not at any direct this year. Probably like early next year, we'll see some see some Metroid. Uh, footage. Yeah, th- unless def- they unless they save it for E three. This is definitely a. T- I, I got to be honest. This is a twenty nineteen game, and I mean, and just mm, look, maybe, maybe, just look, just look. Zelda was Zelda was first announced in twenty thirteen. Right, and it's supposed to come out in 2014, and it came out in 2017. Well, 
I that that's a little bit of a different story because they they realized nobody had the Wii U. And well, this yeah, would well, a, this would be a major flop because no one would buy it. Yeah, well, they 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 and then they eventually ported it to Switch, mm-hmm. right? But uh, all I'm just saying is let's let's just hold out enthusiasm until we see gameplay. All we saw was a logo, a Photoshop logo. No, that's fair. Yeah, uh, so, very fair, uh, very fair. So you know, and and look, I want it to do well. I of wanted course, to sell a bajillion. Everybody units. does. I wanted to sell bajillion units, but I wanted mm-hmm. to sell in Japan too, right? Yeah, I want well, Japan we'll, to care. We'll see. We'll see how they try and we'll we'll see how they handle that. Like maybe Nintendo, I guarantee- maybe Nintendo's got something up their sleeves to be like, hey, Japan, play this game. You know, well, one maybe of the, they'll one have of an the, interesting hook. One of their executives uh, sort of mentioned Pokemon and Metroid for 2018, mm-hmm. and then Nintendo released a statement. It was just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. 2018 and beyond. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. You know? Yeah, yeah. So, so I think I think Nintendo would be smart to release Metroid and Pokemon in the same year. Right? Mm. Because if because if Metroid continues not to sell in Japan, right? You got to you got to have something for that audience. Right. For the Switch. Right. So so you have if, if they're smart they would if, in my view, it's my opinion. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I don't have analytics in front of me. I'm going off of just, <laughs> you know, what we know, right? Uh-huh. I would put out Metroid Prime Four, and also put out Pokemon at the same time. Not the same day, but around the same a couple of months from each other. Mm-hmm. So that's just my two cents. Mm. All right. Well, uh, we're gonna take a break, and uh, when we come back, we're gonna get into the news. Some big news. And we're back. Had a little bit of microphone issue uh, at the beginning of the show. Uh, All fixed. We, we apologize All, for that. Yeah, yeah. All fixed. I sound immaculate mm. as always. Don't I? Crisp. Two oh, C's. Two C's. Okay. So, all right. Let's get into the news. Oh, let's do it. Now, let's, now let's, let's, do it. let's 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 interrupt our regular scheduled program for mm-hmm. breaking news. Mm-hmm. As we as we were recording the podcast, news broke of a Super NES Classic Edition. Who was right? Thank you. Thank I, you. I was right. You, I, I know. Well, I you know, was right. I'm looking in the mirror. I'm looking in the mirror. Right. I'm looking in the mirror. I'm looking in the mirror. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait a minute. I'm looking in the mirror. Wait a minute. And say thank you. Thank this you is, to me. This is the best news in a long time. We're gonna break it all down. Let's get the record straight. Dan yeah, Robinson, get the, get the Dan straight. Robinson, get the Dan, Dan, Dan Robinson, quoted with saying, "They're not going to do an SE, an SNES Mini because for E3, because for E3. No, 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 no. Yeah, yes, you said yes. it was going to conflict with the Virtual Console that doesn't exist. And those virtual yet. Console sales that doesn't exist yet. Well, it's going to exist. Yeah, but that's going. That's in 2018. They needed something for 2017." And what this do you was mean? a they, they perfect. Have, they have they have the switch for 2017. It's fine. No, they need a virtual console. They need nostalgia play. Ah, uh, see, see, you're going, you're going back in your words and this and that. No, you're wrong. No, no, no. no, Take no. The L. My E3, my E3 prediction Take the L. was. Oh, was even not before announced. the E3 prediction, no, you said the SNES announced. Mini is not coming. They would not announce. They would not announce the SNES Mini Classic or whatever they want to call it at E3, and I was right. They didn't. They you should said have earlier they in should the year. Have. You they said earlier have. in the year, no SNES Mini. Wrong. I, it's not going to happen. You I did. said because there I were said, some rumors. There were rumors. I said. I said. You know what? I don't know. I need more information. Ah, uh, look at you! Look at you being the lawyer. Well, That's actually, what I actually, said. You, 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 you. You're being revisionist history right now. I'm sorry. Nope. That's we what can I go. Said. We can go. We can go back in the tapes. That's perfectly fine. Go ahead. The tapes don't lie. Numbers, men lie, women lie, but the tapes don't lie. I regardless, never said that. though, regardless, though, it's a win-win. I was right about E3. I was right about E3. I wish I was uh, wrong because this would have been a mic drop if sure, they announced this at sure. E3. I'm surprised they didn't. I guess they wanted to leave the E3 spotlight Every, for the Switch. Listen, let's go back. Let's rewind a little bit, right, to our uh, E3 wrap-up show. Mm-hmm. If I was Nintendo, if you wanted to create buzz, because E3 is not for... Well, 
traditionally, let me say that E3 is not traditionally for the fans. It's really for like, it's you know, it's for the retailers, for business, for mm-hmm. your shareholders, right? <clears throat> so if I was, if I was Nintendo and I want to create a buzz for Nintendo, right? Like keep the buzz going with the Switch. I would, I would start out with just the four, Metroid 4 Prime, right? And then after that, say, hey, look, it's coming, right? It's in development. But as of right now, if you want to play Metroid games, you could play Return of Samus remake for 3DS. And that would have blown everybody's mind. That's how you start the conference, right? And then you can have Reggie come in and do the weird thing that they always do, right? Uh, you know, talk about how Nintendo's great and, you know, they're doing great things. And they have Rocket, you know, Rocket League on the Switch, which was, you know, we that was a surprise. And, you, you know, you do all of those things. And then in the middle of the conference, in the middle of the direct, you say, we've heard you guys. We know the NES Classic was, the NES Mini, NES Mini Classic Edition was, you know, special, right? And you, and you guys wanted it. And, you know, we feel sorry that we couldn't produce more. But you know what? Because you guys wanted it and you, you asked for it, we're going to give you a Super Nintendo Classic Edition. Right, and then and then that's the middle of the conference, and everybody's going crazy. And then you end it with Mar- Mario Odyssey. I think that's I think that's that would have been that would have been a solid. hell of a show. That's against their mo though, because like it 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 looks like they purposely had okay their E three whatever you want to call it thing was specifically for the Switch. The direct that happened before was 3ds, and then the Treehouse thing was for 3ds. And then after all that settled, then they're like, all right, now we can drop SNES Classic. I mean, people Listen, are still talking about it regardless. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, remember the E3 when they announced the Wii U and their stocks just plummeted? Yeah. <laughs> and the stock went do. down, I right? Do. If they would have did my scenario, right? If, they if I was in charge of Nintendo and they did my direct, their stock would have went up. Because they would have been like, yes, yes. Right? Like, the E3 is for, that's what E3 is for, is to, is to, to not just for the fans. I mean, it's turned to the fans more and more as the show has, you know, become more about showmanship. Yeah. Which Nintendo just doesn't have anymore. I don't even oh, know they have. I, I wholeheartedly disagree. Showmanship? I disagree. Tell me where the showmanship is. <laughs> I, I thought they had a great conference. I thought they killed it. I, I thought Not they as good as Microsoft, but I mean, they did real well. They did real well. Sony won the, the E3 conferences. Still, continue, they continue to win. I mean, uh, Nintendo and, and had me substance, wrong. though. Sony. Like the proof is in the pudding. You know, you can Listen. do you can do your song and dance and get out, get out fancy waterfalls and string orchestras and everything. But when it all comes down to it, you know, when the dust settles, the games have to be good. You know. Listen, if they would have did, if they would have did my scenario, the stock would have went through the roof, and that's what the point is of mm-hmm. E three. The stock is is to get. The, get retailers, get businesses, get your stockholders all excited and happy to see what's coming. And mm-hmm. and you know, I probably would would have even announced you know, one of their mobile games. Not not all of them, but you know, hey, look, Fire Emblem is is coming to mobile, right? Or uh, I, I would hear more. There should be an Animal Crossing game for mobile. Mm-hmm. That's the perfect place for it. But that's what I would have did. But anyway, let's get back to the news. Yeah, I mean, Breaking like, news. okay, we have, so we have the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. It's a little bit more expensive, seventy nine ninety nine. Mm-hmm. Eighty uh, it's bucks. Coming out, it's coming out September twenty ninth. Mm-hmm. So not that far from now. It's, no. it's what four months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 definitely coming out real soon. Uh, I mean, I think this is this is this is pretty obvious right now. But if anyone's thinking about getting one, you're gonna need to watch eBay or not 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 uh, eBay, but like Amazon, GameStop, Target. Walmart, all the all like the retailers, set up your alerts now. Well, check well, every actually, day. actually, you can you can you can watch it on eBay. Scalpers are already listing it well, for one ninety nine. I mean, if you want to go down that road, you certainly can. I don't know how they're. Uh, I don't know how they've already got like pre orders for it or whatever, but yeah. And and actually, uh, you can get a Super Famicom. They they announced a Super Famicom mm-hmm. edition too, which is which is almost exactly the same with with a couple of key differences, but. Something that's the same between both of them, and this is like crazy, crazy, crazy. Star Fox Two. Yes. A game that was complete and never released because they didn't want it to compete with the N sixty four is coming 
to the SNES Mini. And that's fantastic. All right, so you get 21 games, Mm -hmm. right? You get the best game ever made, Super Mario World. Mm, Second best game ever made. Best game. Uh, And and, and you get Super Metroid. Mm -hmm. You get Super Mario Kart. You get The Legend of Zelda, uh, A Link to the Past. Mm -hmm. You get F-Zero. And, you know, I I won another F-Zero game, but Miyamoto has been on record saying he doesn't know what they would do with like another F Zero game. Yeah, right? yeah, which is which is interesting, like because they keep innovating Mario Kart, and they basically they they basically like to to make up for not having F Zero, they put uh they put Big Blue in in the uh, Mario Kart as well as like an F Zero themed uh, cart that you can use as well, and the so, music and all that. So we got that. We got Star Fox 2, unreleased game. I wonder what, well, just real quick, I wonder, you know, what tweaks they'd made to it, right? Like, they had to do something to it. I don't know. Maybe maybe they didn't do anything to it. But you you would think maybe they did something, you know, like put something, you know, worked on it and, and made it better, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I'm sure there was some bugs and whatnot. I'm sure they kind of ran Even the faces and fixed some stuff up. I mean, the original developer of this didn't even know they were doing this, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. So, uh, they got Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Right. That's Surprisingly crazy. not. No, 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 no. Just Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Not Super Street oh, Fighter 2 Turbo. Oh, it's not Super Street? Okay, okay. So no, just no, no, no. Which is, which, is, which is interesting because the Japanese version gets Super Street Fighter 2. We get the Turbo edition of Street Fighter 2. Yes. Interesting. We're, we're, we're missing out on the four extra characters, but anyway. Um, we got punch, Super Punch Out. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh Castle, Super Castlevania 4. Uh Donkey Kong Country. You got Mega Man X. Classic. You got, you got a Kirby Superstar, the eight mm-hmm. games in one. You got one of your favorite games, I'm sure, Final Fantasy. My III. favorite game, the best game of all time. In my opinion, Final Fantasy 3. So happy uh, that's in there. Uh you got Kirby's Dream Course. Mm-hmm. You got the what started it all, the OG Star Fox. Mm-hmm. You got Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. Uh, and you got Super Mario World RPG, Legend mm-hmm. of the Seven Stars. You called you got, that one. You called I it. I did. I did. I said it had to be on there. And you called Street Fighter, too. I mean, I, I said I would want Street Fighter on there. Sure. But I, I doubt it would, right? And then you, you, you was like, why not? So I give you that. I mean, yeah. we both sort of had that, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Contra 3, Secret of Mana, uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Which was shocking to me, but even more shocking than that, Earthbound. <laughs> yeah, well, no, Earthbound's not shocking. I didn't I think mean, I didn't, I didn't it's think an, put Earthbound in there. It's a wholly Nintendo-made game. There's zero licensing issues, you know. There's no third-party... There's no, like, uh, uh, third-party developer. There's no, um, there's no like, movie tie-ins or anything. It's just, you know, it's their own game. It's, it's you know... But look, but look, they got Square. They got Capcom, mm-hmm. right? This is, this is all Square and Capcom. Uh, Konami with Castlevania, sure. They got, they got, they got the one. Konami, yeah. But it's, yeah, it's, you're right, you're right, it is, it is mostly Nintendo Square and Capcom. So, that's, this is, this is awesome. And I just um, want to say, I just want to say, like, look at, we're, we're looking at the, uh, the Nintendo splash page for the Super NES Classic, which is very nicely done, by the way. When they list out the 21 classic Super NES games, there's five games well, technically six if you count Star Fox 2, that are prominently mm-hmm. featured in the, the header graphic for the SNES Classic. I yeah, wonder if you can tell they, me. I, I, I wonder if you can tell just, me. They're all just first-party games. So, I mean. Okay. You know, well, no they, biggie. There's, there's, no there's, biggie. There's, there's, there's no, most of these, most of these are no, all first-party games. There's no, there's no significance to it. It's just... Why? You know, yes, there is. I mean... There's no significance to it. There's no significance. I don't think there's any significance. You could swap out any of these. Well, I'm just... I, well, but there's a, there's a reason these are bigger than the other ones. There's a reason they're at the top. I mean, uh, Super Mario if, World, if, the, if game it, that, the game that came with the system, one of the best I games think, of all time, I think Earthbound, is featured prominently. I think Earthbound would be up there too. I think, yeah, I, but, it's, I, but it's not though. It's not. It's I, not what could Star be up Fox, there. It's what is Star up Fox, there. Star Fox One. If any, if you're gonna go Star Fox One over F Zero, really F Zero? No, really? you don't need to put Star Fox Two. Is is the big thing? 
and that that's called out. Okay, but what I'm what I'm getting at, what I'm what I'm what I'm getting at, F is zero, Super Metroid, F, F, Super F, Metroid is up in that mix. That does, cause doesn't mean anything though, because F is it right Why? next to it. It's, it's F zero. You think F zero? You think F zero was? Uh, yes, episode? it's huge. F zero was not. F zero is not huge. F zero. It not is. A huge there's, there, there, there's a reason these games are featured prominently. There is no reason. There's no reason why these games are featured prominently. Yes, yeah. there is, because no, they're not. system sellers. No, it's not. Listen, they're on the box, sellers. on the box, the, the featured games are Star Fox 2, Super Mario World, Donkey Kong Country, F-Zero. That's not, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm looking at Super the Super Mario Kart. Well, this is on the right box. Here. This is on the box. This is on the box of the, of the, of the actual box that you get. Where, where is this store. box? It's not on this splash page. I'm I'm looking at IGN's picture right now of the box, and Super Metro is nowhere to be found. It's Zelda, Mario Kart, F Zero, Donkey Kong Country. All right, but we're we're talking about Super the Mario website World. here. Well, that's fine. We're I'm looking about at the, the box. promotional I'm materials. At the, I'm looking at the box that you get. When I you don't even. I don't even. We don't even know. We don't even know if that's the final designs for the. Box. No, no, just the final design. This we is don't the final know design. We yeah, dude, because this is the box that's on Amazon. This is the box that's everywhere. All All I am saying is that Metroid is featured prominently. But it's not a system seller. It's not a system seller. And neither is F Zero. I'm got sorry. F Zero games. So so. Are you so, kidding me? So, F Zero, dude. Yes, people love F Zero. Certain people love F Zero. Yes. Not, not everybody who doesn't like F Zero. Who I'm thinks F Zero is a bad I'm not, the, I'm not the biggest F Zero fan. No. Well, you're you're the outlier. I'm sorry. I'm not. F Zero is that. You're crazy. Listen, I give you sh I give you I give you shit for Final Fantasy, you're, but I know crazy. Final Fantasy. I know Final Fantasy is a huge huge ip right oh, like is. i give you, i give you shit for it but i know i, I know, know you huge. do you just you just hate it that's all and yeah, that's fine i do, and I do but fine. It, but it's a huge it's a huge franchise it and is I give, and, and, and i give you that and you know f0 is not a huge franchise but it is beloved. Zero, it, it it listen there's a certain segment of people that love f0 what is this everybody that, you, find me a person who doesn't who doesn't even just enjoy f0 everybody right nobody here. that hates it Right, right here. Well, I don't, don't hate you don't, it. You don't hate it. it. I, I never, I never say anybody hates it. I'm just saying it's not the, it's not super beloved. You know, so you, you think people so you would tell me you're not going to play it. You're not going to play it when you get the SNES Mini. Probably not. No, it, 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 I'm probably, I'm, pro I'm actually more excited. Out of all the games on the list, mm -hmm. there are three games I don't have. Uh huh. And it's it's Final Fantasy three because I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about Final Fantasy. Of course you don't. <laughs> And it's the, it's the two Kirby games. Right. Every other game, every other game I, I own. Mm -hmm. uh, and the two Kirby games I can easily buy, uh, even though Kirby's Dream Course is you know a little expensive, like thirty dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, but I really don't. I don't. I don't really care about the two Kirby games. I mean, I can get them. I, I do have a Kirby game for SNES, and I could buy the Final Fantasy game. I mean, I don't really care. You know, but, I don't, that's, not, I, but that's not. But that's not the point. I mean, you you're gonna buy this thing. You're gonna buy this thing because it's cool. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. I'm buying it. Let, 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 listen, I'm buying this thing, for, and it's and it's easy to play. I'm you buying this thing for two reasons. Go. I'm buying this thing for two reasons. A, I'm a collector. All right, and I have the NES Classic, and I have the Super, and I have the the Famicom Classic. I so I want to buy. I want to buy both the Super NES Classic and the Super Famicom Classic, and I want to play Star Fox Two. I mean, this yeah. is unreleased IP, right? Yeah. I didn't play the I ROM. Know. I know. I want to know. How, I would love to know the difference if there's any difference in the ROM and in this release because this is an official release. Mm -hmm. So, but let's get back into some more facts about this. The cord. First of all, you get two controllers, and the cord is much longer. The other, the cord for the NES Classic, is like three feet. It's right? a three foot this, cord. These are these are these are five. Yeah. These are five. These are five foot. Yeah, mm -hmm. five foot cords. Uh, not great, but better. <laughs> sure. Right? I think the original but, but, ones were the original ones five feet. Yeah, I think or it was six. six feet. I, I thought was six they feet. were six. Yeah. Yeah. So, but you get two controllers, and uh, and it's five feet, which mm -hmm. is awesome. Uh, so that that's cool. It, it it still has. It looks like a little mini Super Nintendo, and the controllers definitely have you know uh, the regular. Purple. I like the purple. I'll so be honest. I. The purple I, and gray. I, I people, thought it was people, cool too. Yeah. People don't like the purple and gray. I thought it was different, right? At the for the, especially for the time. And there, there, was no other, there was no other console with that color scheme, uh, yeah, before was, or since. And and you know, well, listen, Nintendo is not afraid to put a little color in the system because they, you know, GameCube was purple. Originally, well, right? they actually they actually took out some color from the system though. 
You know, because like cause like a Japanese one was like yellow, red, blue, and green, and they're yeah. like, no, 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 too much color, too much. Well, I'm talking about color. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about just American releases, right? They're not sure. use, they're not afraid to use purple because sure. the, the GameCube was purple, the original. Sure. Yeah. Um. So that's like this is all, like I'm excited for this. Like we yeah, blew man, every, 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 we blew our mind when we heard this. Yeah. Today. Yeah. 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 It's 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 insane. Hopefully we can get them. You know, hopefully everybody, hopefully everybody can get one. You know, that's, that's, that's like the whole thing. Hopefully they get in the hands of the people who want them and not the scalpers. You know what the scalper, you can always, right now you, you can, you can, you can buy a pre-order for $199. I, I, I'm not going down that road. I'm not going down that road. I'm going to get as uh, many as I can. I'm going to get as many as I can and sell them to all of my friends who want them at retail price. Just so they can't get in the hands of the scalpers. I'm going to do that. I don't know how many I can get. I don't even know if I can get one, Uh, you know. But well, we'll you're at least going to get two, right? <laughs> well, of course, of course. Me and you are going to get them. And then, and then whatever else we can get, we'll, we'll parse them out to people who want them. Yeah. Well, listen, if, as soon as I see it on sale, I'm going to buy two. And then I'll tell you. Mm-hmm. And, you know, hopefully you could just go buy two. Yep. Right. So, uh, or, or whatever. So we're both excited for it i this was crazy but now you know i i gotta get the super famicom one i i i really i like the i i always love the way the super famicom looks too well i gotta get you can you can you can still get uh just just for a little little comparison you can still get the nes famicom uh over over retail price but the amazon amazon still has a bunch in stock yeah it's only 100 bucks right hmm it's only like 100 bucks right uh 90 90 90 yeah. yeah okay so all right enough with that let's get into our regular news because that that was breaking news that was awesome breaking mm. news first time we ever recorded and it was like something that just pops up yeah right? it's crazy uh so e3 is behind us mm-hmm. this is not a lot of, other than the SNS mini not a lot of news this week coming out this week mm-hmm. but I thought this was interesting. IGN published because uh, we've never been to E3 before. I mean, we've been to PAX, we've been to Portland Gaming Retro, uh, the, the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, mm-hmm. but we've never been to the actual E3. Uh, I can only imagine how bananas it is in E3, right? Yeah. Um, mostly, mostly all press. Uh, I guess it's only open to the public with like fifteen thousand tickets, which sold out eventually. Mm-hmm. Uh, but. IGN did publish something that they called the five changes that E3 desperately needs and to make going forward. And I thought it was interesting. Uh, they they said they need to separate sort of like a separate press day from public days. Oh, right? that a hundred percent needs to happen. Um, E3 does start early. Mm-hmm. Um, they really should be a press day. I don't understand why. Well, it used well, to be. For, it well, used to be exclusively well, first be, press. Well, first of all, E three is for the press, but then you know they they started letting influencers in, and then they would give certain outlets tickets to raffle or sell on their own, right? To promote, you know, promote so fans can come. I think IGN had like like two thousand tickets they were like giving away or raffling or, or selling at some point, right? Sure. Um, so, but now they're making it more into like. Like a PAX, where mm-hmm. you know they sold fifteen thousand tickets this year. Now, do you do you think that's you, th- you think it's a good thing that they're letting the public in, right? Because um, it's not. I mean, like if you look at like PAX, PAX is designed for the fan in mind, right? Yeah. People, people, people kind of go there, and press go there, and you know they do all the stuff there, and they get some behind the scenes stuff and whatever else, but it's geared towards the fans, right? It's it's geared towards here's a bunch of shit, here's a bunch of fun events, and have at it. Yeah, I think honestly, I mean, I liked it when it, it, I don't know. I mean, would I like to go to E three? Yeah, but then you got to realize, you know, when you go to E three, everything's going to be like, can I play a game? And it's going to be like, do you have an appointment? Right? Because everything's about appointments. Exactly. And you're going to be waiting online forever to play. Like you, if if we're at E three. From everything I hear, it's like you're gonna be waiting online all day, right? If you, if you don't have an appointment, you're probably gonna be waiting in line just to play two, three games the whole day. Right, right. And you can't get an appointment unless you're, you know, notable press, because they get all the stuff. Because you know, 
they basically want a mouthpiece for their game and you know better that uh better that IGN talks about it than like you know Joe Schmo from wherever and and your small press like we are uh, I guess we could be considered press yeah. uh you know we would go after the indie games because mm-hmm. you know any press is good press for them correct of so um I don't know I think I don't know. It's ever changing because people are sort of pulling out of the normal E3, right? Like EA does their own thing, Bethesda does their own thing. Mm -hmm. Um, They all have sort of booths, but not big presence at the E3, like in the show floor, right? So, and a lot of things is behind closed doors, right? Not that are not not on the show floor. So, so. I don't know. I'll be honest. I don't know. I've never been there. I mm-hmm. would say three is for the press, and we have events like PAX and PlayStation Experience for the fans, mm-hmm. and we should probably keep it that way. But that's just me because I've never been to three. Maybe I, if I, I would agree. I would agree. Uh, number two on a list is better security. Now I know a lot of people complained about you know uh, the lines outside being long because of people trying to get through. Uh, metal detectors and then at some point they just let people in <laughs> they just oh start letting God. people in because no, the line's just is, too long that it's basically no security they're like oh the people are revolting oh let them eat cake you you, you can't do that you know well what they need to do is and i don't know if they do this or, or some type of form they need to have different type of badges mm-hmm. right to where if you're an exhibitor you could just come in but if you're sort of uh if you're a high level press or you're an exhibitor you could just come in right so like ign high level press but if you're an influencer or you're just a fan you should have sort of a lesser you know sort of badge yeah you might have, you have like a separate through. line you know yeah let everybody else in like you know you're not you're not compromising the process you're just like look you know, you guys can you guys can certainly come and play and do all that stuff, but we gotta let these people in first. You know. Yeah, I, I just I, I I don't I I just don't understand how they can have weak security for an event like this. Yeah, yeah. I mean that that could have been like ripe for a situation. You know, E three could have been on the news in a bad way. So, uh, number three is more fan facing events. Mm-hmm. And we just talked about this um, as far as, you know, do, do, do I think this should be open to the fans? Because a lot of things are closed doors, right? A lot of things are, you know, a lot of games are, you, you only have to be depressed to play. And, and a lot of games aren't playable in the show floors behind closed doors. There aren't a lot of things out there for the fans, right? right? It, I mean, it, other than like E3 play, really, which is mm-hmm. like not in the actual E3 arena, sort of like down the block. Uh, where that's open to the fans, that that's more for the fans. Mm-hmm. And I think if we went to E3, I think we would be more. Want, I think we would be like heavily at like E3 play because we it would be probably more accessible to play a lot of things. Right, right, right. And this is interesting too. Apparently, they sold fifteen thousand public passes, right, for the fans. And then what did they get to do? They got to wait in line all day. That's yeah. not. That's not cool. You know, they need they need to have like a series of fan panels and you know, sort of like interviews with with developers and stuff like that. I mean, make it fun for them if you're going to sell it. People paying all this money, yeah. And it's like two. It was like, it was like tickets for like two sixty or something like that. Oh my god, for the whole for the whole week, yeah, yeah. For the whole week. Uh, number four, more kiosks for gaming. Yeah. So they don't have a lot of. Apparently, they didn't have enough kiosks, and. It, 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 if you if you hear a lot of like YouTube influencers or IGN or GameStop, a lot of those guys said they wait in line for hours just to play one game. Like last year, uh, I think IGN said that they one guy told me he, one guy said he was like online for like two hours mm. just to play Breath of the Wild, Jeez. like just waiting in line. Mm-hmm. Right. So if you're gonna open it to the fans, if you're gonna have more people come, you definitely need to have more kiosks to play games. Because remember at E3 because it's it's not like PAX. E3 is more of for the press. They get a longer time. You get a longer play time, right? On certain games. Mm-hmm. You get like to play the whole first level, mm-hmm. right? So that could be 15 to 20 minutes. So now you're waiting in line for people to pay, you know, people to play a game and taking like 15, 20 minutes. 
to just play that one level or one clip of a game. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, so you need you need more you need more you more display stands kiosks to like accommodate for but, that. You know. Well then, well then, well here I'm playing devil's advocate with that with that point. Um, if you look at pictures from E3, it, it looks super crowded. Yeah. Right. So where would you even fit these kiosks? <laughs> Well, then, then you and have then you, to then you have to let less people in. You know, you can't you can't have fifteen thousand public passes and then ex- and be like, well, we don't have any room. You know, that's their own needed, fault. That's their own they fault. Needed, they what they need to do. What they, they need to do. What they need to do is have press day, right? Where it's just press, mm-hmm. and then even on fan day where you have like not even fan day, where even on a, just a regular day when you have fans and press, you have like something outside that's just for the fans. Sure, sure. Right, you can have sort of, you know, uh, just take a place and just make it where you have panels, discussions, ask the developer, and f- more free open play, PlayStation, you know, play, you know, uh, play uh, more kiosks mm-hmm. for for just playing games, even if they're already out. Right, maybe you have DLC you want to you want to you want to showcase, like Breath of the Wild. So, uh, I don't know. Again, I haven't been here. And, but hopefully we hopefully we can actually go one day. I would like to go to E3 one day. Yeah, no, even no, even if it's maybe not the whole cool. weekend, maybe just a day. Mm-hmm. Because because it could be crazy going a whole weekend. Not to mention, I don't I don't know if I want to get uh what they call E3 pox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, Penny Arcade has to say any any anytime you have a a large group of people in a very tight confined space, someone's gonna get sick. There's gonna be an so, outbreak. All right, and last, they said they want better merchandise. <laughs> now, I would think E three merchandise would be pretty awesome, right? Yeah. But apparently, it's pretty lame. Well, they used to just like they used to just give you stuff. Like swag was like a big thing back in the day, and now you know they're they're like nickel and diamond you for all this stuff that would normally just be given out, right? Yeah. So, uh, and and these t shirts don't look exactly, these t shirts look horrible. Yeah, uh, they're not that great. Yeah, they, I was at E3 they're, they're, 2017. They're, yeah, then they're, they're just like regular plain Jane type of shirts. They need to have some awesome E3 shirts, just like yeah. PAX does. Yeah, so, well, PAX has PAX great merchandise. They know what's up. Uh, also, uh, let's stick with IGN. They actually put out a list of the top 10 games missing from E3 mm-hmm. this year. Uh, I just want to run through a couple of them. Yep. I want to run through all. I don't want to run through all ten. I just want to run through uh, a couple of them. Uh, we got the the Dead Island Two. Oh. Uh, didn't we see like a, a teaser for Dead Island Two like two E threes ago? Yeah, right? I I think we did. I'm I'm I was surprised then that no three, like, it was three years ago. It was, maybe it was in yeah. 2014 that I we mean, saw it was a such trailer. a it was such a bad it was it was a bad game when it came out. That trailer looked super cool for the first one. The game did not live up to the trailer. I I'm I'm just I'm not surprised that it's not here. I am surprised that they that they're trying to make a sequel. Well, no, the trailer yeah, the trailer we saw it at E3 2014. It's been right. 3 years. We haven't heard anything from them. Um I'll be honest, I forgot about this game. Yeah. <laughs> I it, it, I, really I mean, didn't. you know, the, the the first one not good. Uh, hopefully, hopefully part two is good. Uh, again, they got, we got cyberpunk 2077. Mm-hmm. Uh, we didn't see, you know, we're not, I don't think we're going to see anything on this game for a while. This is, uh, this may be a PlayStation five Xbox two game. Right? Well, this, this is, this is by, to, to be fair, this is by the same guys who did, uh, the Witcher series. CD so, project, right? Yeah. So they yeah, take their time. You know, it's going to be huge. Yeah, I mean, we got our first trailer back in, uh, well, cinematic trailer back in 2013. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think this is like a futuristic RPG. And 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 as a side note, I want to commend CD Projekt Red because some hackers, I don't know if you heard about this, hackers stole some files from this game and they were demanding payment or they were going to release it. Mm. And what did CD, CD Projekt Red do? They were just like, okay, release it. Hey, they put out a press release. Hey, these hackers stole some files. Um all those assets we're not using in the game. So if they release it, it is not it it, it is it is not a representation of what the, of the what the final product will be. Yeah, good on them. <laughs> so you know, just imagine those hackers like 
what? <laughs> yeah, wait, no, no, that's not the response. No, 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 no. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, mm-hmm. Well, yeah, so we didn't hear anything about that game. I didn't think we will, and we probably won't for a while. Mm. Uh, also, we didn't hear anything from Shenmue 3. Surprising. Uh, I mean, well, well, I mean, like, the Kickstarter did so well. They're like, we got all this extra money. Well, we, they got some money, right? And I think Sony only did that, really, because they wanted to see what the interest would be in this game, mm-hmm. right? And Large. and when and when they got when they got their asking price right on Kickstarter, Sony backed it, right? Yeah. So we're not going to hear anything with this game for a while, yeah, because uh, it's in production. So people need to relax. <laughs> uh, we didn't see Red Dead Redemption Two. Didn't think Very we would. Very surprising. Very I am not. Rockstar doesn't need E3, right? They don't. They don't showcase GTA games at E3. Right, so they don't they don't do anything. Uh, I mean, E three is like the 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 uh, place, and I, I I think I think why we didn't see anything for it is because they already pushed the game back to twenty eighteen. So yeah, but we it just but we never wasn't. but we never really see anything from Rocksteady on uh or Rockstar. You mean yeah, Rockstar. Sorry, we don't really see anything from Rockstar. Yeah, at E three. Yeah, so uh, well, we one thing one game we knew we weren't going to see. Uh, Kojima said, we're not going to hear anything about Death Stranding at, at uh, E3, but he was selling t-shirts. <laughs> yeah. He was selling Death Stranding t-shirts at well, E3. Of course. Anything anything to make a buck. You know, he's an entrepreneur. He's an so entrepreneur. Uh, we didn't see The Last of Us Part 2, which was mm-hmm. surprising. And if you listen to our recap show, I said Sony should have done, they should have had the Spider-Man, uh, they should have had Spider-Man more in-depth play that 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 demo mm-hmm. at PSX and had the Last of Us two uh, just that little mini trailer debuted at E three as a mic yeah. drop moment. Well, see the thing of it is like Spider Man, they probably didn't have Spider Man ready to show off that gameplay footage yet. But no, I understand, and I know yeah. they wanted to make PSX a big thing, right? Because mm-hmm. they even said they only care about three three shows a year, mm-hmm. right? They they care about E three and. Uh, Tokyo Game Show because they are a Japanese company. Yep. And in where they'll show mostly their Japanese games, right? Japanese heavy inspired games. Yeah. And then you'll and then PSX. And those are the three shows that they care about. They don't they didn't show anything at Gamescom last year. Mm-hmm. Uh I don't think we heard about anything at uh at, at the, the the show in France. Yeah, the, the Paris Game Show, yeah. Paris Game Show, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh and yeah, you know, they don't do anything else at any other, like, packs or anything like that. They, you, you don't hear anything. So I mean, you know, I mean, like, they, like, certainly have a presence, but they're not necessarily announcing anything there. Yeah, so I think I think they want to make PSX a thing, but I still think, as I said with Nintendo, this is something to get everybody invigorated, get your investors invigorated, get get, get the retailers happy. Mm-hmm. M- mic drop moment, and I think this is, they. I think they did it too early. They should have did this at E3. Right. And finally, not surprising, we didn't hear anything from Final Fantasy. Not surprising. Remake. I I I thought there was going to be some new footage, maybe some gameplay. I mean, this basically just it basically solidifies the fact that this game is coming out when it's ready. And even then it's going to be episodic because Oh my god. It'll be just, ready when PlayStation so 5 launches. Yeah, right? And they're going to have to redo it. They're going to have to remake the remake. To, to compete to be 4K. with the to compete <laughs> with the visuals exactly exactly yeah, so that would be, that'd be funny. Hopefully, there's some more news coming at PSX or 2018 on this, but I am not holding my breath. So, all right, one game that we aren't going to see for a while is Halo Six. So, Halo Six for real won't be soon. Uh, an interview with uh, the guys at three four three interest three for three studios. Mm-hmm. So we won't get it. Not a surprise, honestly. I think they're going back to the drawing board. I think we won't see Halo, another Halo six game. Well, first of all, before I say what I'm going to say, how long do you think that this generation is going to last? Right, because this generation started in at the end of 2013. Now we yeah, have yeah, it started with the Xbox One. It started with it started with Xbox One, PS4. Mm-hmm. We and now we, you know, uh, technically the Switch is the next generation, right? Because that's it came mm, out afterwards. The Wii, U, yeah. the, Wii U, the Wii U is considered 
the start of last generation in 2012. Well, then, then you know, the Wii U kicked it off because the Wii U was 2012. Yeah, so yeah. the Wii U kicked yeah. it off. So the, right? the Wii U kind of kicked it off. The Xbox happened, and then, you know, but last now but we, not least, the PlayStation came out, and that was like that generation. And now we have, and now we have iterations of those. We have products, this weird, right? yeah, this weird interim thing where like the Switch is out. And then yeah. the PlayStation Pro is out, and the Xbox and, and, One X will be out. And I th- and I think there's an argument that could be that someone could make that the Switch is just a sort of an iteration of what the Wii U should have been, <laughs> right? Yeah, because uh, hundred percent. I mean, it's because that's what they wanted it to be. Well, right, like, right. It just yeah, they they, they, well, they, they basically exactly. made they 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 made a better Wii U. Yes. So. So technically, I guess you can make that argument that it is this generation. But however, whatever. How long do you think this is going to last until we see the next PlayStation Five and Xbox? Well, I mean, like two. according to you, you thought it was going to be out next year. <laughs> well, you yeah, they were going to announce is, it this which, year. I would which, say, which, I would say, which is, still, which is still in the air. You never know. But go ahead. They're not going to announce it this year. I uh, hope not. It's. They they may announce something 2018. I would probably say 2019, because they just put out the uh, the PS4 Pro, which granted is just a bump up, but Microsoft has I, their Xbox One X, and that's a big jump up. Um, so I think I think they're still going to support those enhanced versions for a while. They'll probably eventually phase out the older versions. Which means then they don't necessarily have to support those anymore, and they can they can use the extra horsepower, and you know so, create games with better visuals. So I I, I would say they I, bought themselves another year or two. I would hope twenty. I would hope they would announce it like in twenty nineteen for twenty twenty. Because mm-hmm. I would think twenty twenty just sounds good, right? Sure. Like the next generation starts in twenty twenty, right? This right. this generation yeah. lasted seven eight years, yep. not ten years, but seven eight years, right? Yep, so yep. that's what I. That's my hope. That's just me. So. Um, and I say that to say this, we're, we know we're not going to see Halo six for a while. Maybe we see Halo six sort of at the end of this generation, mm-hmm. or maybe they'll keep it for the beginning, especially if it comes out in 2020, 2019, 2020, maybe they'll keep it for their launch game for the next Xbox. Well, uh, with the, possibly with the exception of the first Halo, which they basically like, they basically bought Bungie and they're like, put this on our system. It looks awesome. And they did. And. It was probably one of the best moves for them. Um, we've never had a Halo game out around launch. You know, H- Halo 2 was like 2014 in kind of the end of the Xbox life cycle. Uh, Halo 3 was 2007, uh, like a good year after um, the Xbox was out. Well, I guess two years after the Xbox was out. So they don't normally do that. They kind of just, you know, when it's ready, it's ready. I mean... If Microsoft had their way, they would love to have the game ready for launch. But I could, I could easily see this being on a current gen console. Easily see it being on the Xbox One. Okay. Um, one game that we know it's coming out mm-hmm. is Detroit Become Human. It it will launch in 2018. Now, Sony has been on the record that they don't really care about holiday. That you know you can launch a AAA game any time of the year. They're making and, that. Uh, they're they're making that Q1 Christmas too. Let me tell you. Yeah, right? and March is going to be like crazy. And it is reported, it's rumored that all the all the games that are coming out in 2018 will be sort of, you know, Q1. Right? It'll be within that January to April slot. Mm-hmm. Right? Or even May. I think Uncharted came out in May. Uncharted Four came out last May, if I'm not mistaken. I believe so. Yeah, we, we either so, like April or May. Yeah. Yeah. So I think. I think, you know, the, the Detroit Become Human, God of War. Uh, I think Spider-Man is a holiday game, to be honest. I think I think that's not going to come out in Q1. Mm. But you have a Detroit, you have God of War, and any other game, I think they're going to try to spread that out through uh, the early 2018. I think, honestly, I think the summer should get some love. Because not a lot of people, you know, this is when kids are home. People have, you know, people are on vacation. They're, you know. Mm-hmm. They have time to play games. Sure, that's when uh, I, that's I, when uh, Shadows of Mortar came out. That's when uh, The Witcher came out. You know, it's viable so, for sure. And I, I a lot of, a lot of people didn't a lot of people weren't weren't wowed by uh, by Detroit Become Human uh, 
trail is, but I liked it. I was like, I thought it was awesome. It's I just think it's kind of cool, but like, it's another game where you have choice. David Cage's games are either love it or hate it. I think you're either on one side or the other, and I'm with you. I love it. All right, next. I know how much you love Metroid. Mm, you kept... Everybody loves Metroid. You'll see. I hope so, for Nintendo's <laughs> sake. Uh, well, for Metroid's sake, I hope so. Uh, so we got Metroid Return of Samus. Samus Returns, right? There's a special edition that was announced for Europe. It wasn't. We don't know if we're going to get this in America. Mm-hmm. I hope we do, because if we do, this is the one I'm buying. Of course. Okay, you get like a keychain. You get like a special sort of uh metroid steel book that's like this that's it's, like in the shape of the original game boy game yeah it's just you know it's a little bit it's a little bit wider or whatever to be the same size as a 3ds cartridge but it has that like yeah it has that silver has that gray uh game boy shell yeah uh you have like a metroid insignia uh it's just just cool just a cool thing you got uh, what is this uh, the soundtrack in there yeah, the key chain, soundtrack. Like you said you know full color manual uh, well of course the one that i'm looking at is all in french uh-huh <laughs> so and i don't speak french right well i mean you know europe is comprised of english-speaking countries so i'm sure like england is going to get uh the special edition as well and it's surprising because europe almost never gets uh exclusive special editions right it's either like you know japan gets all the cool shit sometimes we get some cool shit here in in like america europe is like mm, probably not gonna get the cool the cool shit um they get some cool shit they get some cool shit we do we do but i mean europe europe almost never gets any cool shit is what i'm saying so it's it's you know it's surprising like apparently our edition is the game and the soundtrack well we may get let's they, they still haven't announced anything. We may still get the special edition. Right. Right. Hopefully. Right. So give it, give, give it time, hopefully. Uh, all right. So let's stick with Nintendo and let's stick with the Switch. The Switch just had an update. A couple of days. I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> of course, man. How can you all right, but you know, All right. You know what, Mr. Snap Your Fingers, Switch? Tell me about the update. Well, I mean, you know, it's, it's update 3.0, so you can, you can tell... You can tell how many updates they've had uh, since the system launched. And, you know, they've been putting them out quite consistently. Good on Nintendo. They're basically uh, patching up the system and all the uh, all the feature loopholes. Uh, we still haven't gotten the virtual console. Come on, Nintendo. Well, um, that's 2018. 2018. Well, hopefully. Um, one of the big things with this update, and I, I, I would say, like, the biggest thing is that you can now search for people on all platforms, right? So if you had like, if you had friends on your Wii U or friends on your uh, 3DS, um, you can now see those because um, they're they're uh, linked. Where you would previously only be able to search for people who were uh, on, I believe, your mobile account, right? If you had like the, um, what was it the uh, Nintendo? The Mitomo app? Yes. Yeah. So if you had the Mitomo app or whatever and you had friends on there, you could search through there. You can now search 3DS, through... 3DS, Wii U. Right. So so it's now 3DS, Wii U, and the mobile platform, which is great. And then, you know, you can also turn on notifications for when people come online and offline, which is nice. And there's a couple different uh, granular settings there, which is kind of nice. Um, you know, just a lot of small stuff. Nothing like majorly well, we epic. Have, we have... We can actually use Splatoon characters as icons. Finally. We can use Splatoon characters as icons. You know, there, there, there is that. And I guess like the other big thing too is the, um, you can now like have uh, customized news, so you can basically subscribe oh, yeah. to certain channels and get that as your primary news. You know, as opposed to just like here's what Nintendo is putting out. So, you know, well, it's you a little more that, customized. You can get those inverted colors too in grayscale. Well, that's you, the other you, thing. You you, play, sure. you see, you see someone play uh, Zelda in that whole grayscale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so they they have like some accessibility updates for people who are uh, like uh, colorblind or uh, who have um, vision impairment, which is fantastic. Um, you know, definitely something to note. Um, 
not really a big thing for most people, but it is. It is. It is nice that it's in there. It, it is good. It still just looks cool to look over the horizon. And everything is like a grayscale. <laughs> yeah, and, and yeah, yeah, Zelda. yeah, yeah. Definitely. And you know, good on good on Nintendo for putting those updates out. You know, accessibility is big. Uh, and also, you can find your Joy-Con. It can rumble. Oh, that's right. That's right. So if you end up well, losing any it, controller. Yeah, if you end up losing it or like misplacing it, you can say find my Joy-Con, and it'll it'll rumble for you. So. All right, it's small updates, but stuff mm-hmm. that is, you know, sh- maybe should have been part of the system during, at launch. All right, most definitely, yeah. So, all right. Also with Nintendo, they politely requ- politely request people not say, you know, for Super Mario Odyssey that that the hat, you know, Cappy is, uh, you know, capturing you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So to speak, right? And for obvious reasons, he's not possess- he's not possessing you. He's sort of uh, capturing. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's, it's a little weird. Way. It's, it's a little friendlier weird. way. Yeah, yeah. Well, because people have been saying, "Hey, you can use Cappy to possess something, right? right. You can possess the enemy." Mm-hmm. And he still don't want to shy away from po- the word "possessing" and just saying he's capturing you for the well, moment. Sure, sure. It's it's like uh, if 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 you ever dealt with. Um... If you ever dealt with advertising in any way, shape, or form, better to say affordable than cheap. It's the same thing. <laughs> but, you know, this is what it is. Well, capturing well, the, capturing well, sounds well, nicer. Well, well, possessing, just the definition of possessing is like to seize and take control of. Yeah. Right? And they want to, it's doing. like a, you're firmly dominating something. Mm-hmm. And they want to mm-hmm. take it, they want to they get away from that sort of lingo. And capturing is, is, is sort of like the. Well, the definition is an act or instance of capturing, such as an act of uh, catching, winning, gaining control by force. Mm-hmm. It's not right? that much different, but it does sound a little better. It sounds a little better, right? Mm-hmm. Listen, Nintendo's kid friendly. What can mm-hmm. we say? Uh, also, did you know they actually showed sort of like a tech demo of uh, Beyond Good and Evil 2? Yeah, this um, like a prototype. So yeah, on yeah, that, on that space monkey thing. Yeah, so they had they had one of the developers with like kind of a dev kit and a dev build, and they just kind of went around like, "Look, here's our game in action," and they they went you know kind of flying all the way to the outer reaches of space, and then like kind of you know zoomed all the way in like it, it it's happening. You know? It's an ambitious. It's a very ambitious game. Um, before the space, before he showed me the space monkey, mm-hmm. and he just had the huge spaceship, uh, or uh, just pretty much in the sky, and he was just like, you know, this is like the main station. You can have smaller spaceships inside. I I immediately thought of No Man's Sky. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no Man's Sky, but good. <laughs> That's the uh, difference. This then, this this looks like it's gonna deliver on its on its uh, promise. And then he and, and I guess you get to play as sort of the space monkey, and mm-hmm. you get to fly around, and you can obviously their their thing is you can go anywhere, mm-hmm. right? Literally anywhere, yeah, in the world. And the scope is huge because he he zoomed out because the monkey like sort of dropped on he he sort of flew the monkey onto the top of the statue that was in a, in the actual uh, cinematic trailer, mm-hmm. and he zoomed out, and the monkey is like a speck. Right, like, like it's like realistic. Like, if you were really on top of that statue, mm-hmm. you would be a speck, right? You would just be a, a small speck because the statue is that huge. So, that was pretty incredible. This just tells me this is an ambitious game that's nowhere near done. This is <laughs> this is yeah. coming. This is coming out with Cyberpunk and uh, Death Stranding uh, <laughs> for the new consoles, right? And the rest of the games in twenty twenty. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. This is this is this is this this game is lo- this game is huge. Mm-hmm. So, um, I don't expect to hear about anything that that I don't expect to hear anything about this game anytime soon. This is why they want you to follow Space Monkey so you can help them develop. You can you can watch development happen <laughs> as as it, as they as they deal with it. Right? Hey, hey, I'm in. I'm in. I'm all about it. Uh, all right, Sega Forever. It's in. We know what it is. It is nothing like what I thought it would be. <laughs> uh, you ever play? You ever wanted to play Altered Beast on your phone? Mm-hmm. Now you can. Now you can with with controller support 
which is awesome. Yes. I don't know what people uh, are going to be bringing around their uh, PlayStation controllers hooked up via Bluetooth, but you can. You can. Uh, I think. What are the games they're starting with? They're they're sort of they're going to be free to play games mm-hmm. that will have ad support, and you can pay to uh, you know sort of delete the ad. Right. Right. So we know we know Altered Beast and is one will, of them. And there will be cloud saves, controller support, and leaderboards. Right. Uh, Comic Zone's in there. It's the original Sonic, Fantasy Star Two, and Kid they will Chameleon add... Two, which is interesting. And they will, and you can uh, remove the ads for two bucks. Right. Right. And this is like basically like a uh, two bucks per game. We'll get rid of the ads. Right. It's a per game on like a per game basis. Yeah. So if you buy all the game, if you download all the games, that's two dollars per game as you play the game. If you wanted to delete the ads, yes. Right. Uh, and as cloud saves, so if you know, obviously, if you delete, if you upgrade to your new iPhone every year, like I do, uh, you can just re-download the game, and the cloud saves are already saved. Right. And yeah, I, I just uh, Sega, Sega, poor Sega. I would, I, are you? Is anybody excited about for this? Is anybody going to play Altered Beast? I'm. On, on, I'm pretty excited for this. I'm pretty excited for this. I mean, did you? Did you see the uh, trailer they put out for it? The the uh, the launch trailer. I did. Cause that that thing was perfect. I mean it it perfectly captured Sega. It had references to like all their old commercials. I thought it was great. I thought it was great. Maybe not what we necessarily thought it was gonna be. Maybe not on the best platform. You know, mobile's a little bit tough. So I do think the controller is going to make or break the gameplay experience. I just this is one of this is not what I envisioned when they said they wanted to uh, you know they wanted to make a comeback, right? <laughs> right. Uh, and as part of the convo of the week, we will discuss how if I ran Sega or if you if we ran if Sega, we ran how Sega would, we how ran would we make Sega. it better? How would we make it? better? Mm-hmm. But before we get into the convo of the week, like Dave said earlier, numbers don't lie. Oh so let's, boy! Let's Here we go! Check. Here we go! With our, our with our with our with our weekly segment. How's how good is PlayStation 4 doing? 4 doing? <laughs> okay, so tell us, tell us, Mister Robinson, tell us how good PlayStation Four is doing. Well, as, well, I'm glad you asked that, Dave Rotino. So, uh, as we know, the Switch dominated in March, mm-hmm. right? The Switch dominated in April. Right, but lo and behold, supply issues. Nintendo can't help. You know, I'm sorry you're competing. I'm sorry you're competing with uh, IBM and uh, you know Apple for those mm-hmm. chips. Uh, PlayStation Four grabs the top spot of May, 2017. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just saying. I have a. Just um, saying. I have a. Uh, I have a prediction. I have a prediction. I have a. Prediction. Yeah. My prediction, prediction, my prediction okay. is... Okay, your prediction is... When the Xbox One X drops... Uh, no surprise, surprise. We shall see how well the PlayStation 4 does during that time period. We'll see. You know what? We'll you see. What? Let's see I how many times Dan Robinson has our weekly segment of how good is PlayStation 4 doing this week. I have a prediction of my own. Uh-huh. I will predict the... The Xbox, not the Xbox X, the Xbox just in general, because I don't think they're going to I don't think they're going to release separate numbers of S and X. They're well, just there is, do... there, I mean, we're not, I we're, think not they... we're not differentiating numbers here with the PS4. No, 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 no. I'm, not I'm, saying not saying that's a bad, I'm not saying that's a bad or good thing. I'm not saying that's a bad or good thing. I'm just I'm just I'm not saying it's a bad or good thing. I'm just saying it's a thing, right, that they're not going to. Say they're not gonna they're not gonna separate Xbox X and S numbers. They're gonna just say Xbox in general, Xbox One. Well, sure. Right? I mean, that's what they do with PlayStation, right? And and that's fine. And that's fine. I'm, I, All I'm right. Not, well, that's not, what I'm it not is. Don't, I'm don't, not, don't I'm not don't don't make any excuses. Finish talking. Don't make any excuses. All right. Let me finish talking. Right. Right. All right. I'm, not, I'm not. I never said it was a bad thing. All right. All right. I'm just saying Xbox as a whole will win November, like they won last. Of course. October. I'm gonna say. Mm-hmm. And they're gonna fall off in December again. Either the switch, fall off in December. Either, either the switch. Oh, Sony's or, not gonna dominate the switch. Maybe or the will PS4. Dominate. 
will yeah. will dominate December, yeah. but the this but but je- definitely in January, uh, PlayStation will reign supreme. Mm, I'm gonna say from when it drops till the beginning of the new year, Xbox will beat PlayStation. Maybe not. Uh, maybe not Nintendo. They will definitely beat PlayStation. Uh, I say they. I say they will only win one month. Oh, how generous! They will, they will win how November. Generous. I say they will win November. Then All right, that's it. we shall see. All right, so let's get into our convo of the week. All right, this Fourth of July special. Mm-hmm. How will we make Sega great again? Now, so Dave, you, you, you would, you would, you would, you would envisioned something different for this Sega Forever, right? Vastly different. Okay. okay. Vastly different. Um, if I was Sega, right? Mm-hmm. We, if we were Sega and we ran Sega, I would say, Sega of America, I would say, look, we need to put a virtual console on all platforms to play our older games, right? We need, we need to expand, we need to expand to other Sega consoles, or, or to all this other Sega consoles, not just the Genesis, right? Not just Genesis games. Right. We need some Master System stuff, some 32X. Master- we can start. We can start by, you know, putting Master System and, and, and Genesis games, mm-hmm. right? But then you gradually expand to 32X games, especially those 32X and Sega CD games, maybe. Those mm-hmm. those 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 games that are just, like, hard to buy and hard to really go back and play because you need to get that Frankenstein, put that Frankenstein together. Sure, sure. I mean, you can get, you get your Sonic CDs, your... Uh... Your uh, your shining forces, your um, your uh, your Mad Dog McCrees, huh? Yeah, no. yeah. There you go. <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah. I mean, who, there's, there's, yeah, who shot Roger Rabbit? Yeah, <laughs> who shot Jr. Johnny Rock? Yeah. Johnny Rock. That's who, was. <laughs> who Johnny shot Rock. Johnny Rock? Yeah. Well, listen, you get your uh, full motion Power Rangers, my <laughs> Power Rangers games, uh, and, and obviously the Saturn and the Dreamcast. Right. Yeah. You need to have a you need to have a virtual console. Mm-hmm. And at first I said, have a deal with like Nintendo, but no, you know, Sega, you got to put it on all platforms. Right? Well, sure. I mean, they're not, they're not beholden to any one company at the moment. Well, yeah, but, but, but Sega, but obviously Xbox and, and Sony can say no. I doubt Nintendo would say no, but I, mm. I would say like an EA play, like an EA access. You right. have, you have like three ninety nine a month mm-hmm. and you have access to, I don't know. You know, at at any time you have access to a certain amount of games, right? That you you pull new game, you you put new games in, well, new old games, I should say, and you, mm. and you can pull some old games out. And when you have new games, right, you can have demos of those new games in, or you get to play it first, right, or something like that. I don't know. Sure, sure, and that's what that's what EA Access does. You can you can play them a little bit early. Um, I think I think that's I think that's a great idea. Um, that's obviously what you thought this was going to be. Um, I, I thought it was going to be, I almost thought it was going to be like, uh, like a console. Sega was going to be like, all right, we're making like our a own. Ouya. Making that? a Sega Ouya? I'm making a Sega Ouya? Yeah, yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of what Atari is most likely going to be doing for their thing and, and have like this little bit where you can like have access to everything and you do it through that console. But I do like I do like this idea too. Is this like it's it's platform agnostic, right? You pay one price and you can play it everywhere, which would be great, right? I can load up my uh, PlayStation Four, play a game, uh, have it save in the cloud, maybe. Um, yeah. Pick it, pick up that same game on my PC and continue, and you know play it that way, which would be great. And you know what it is, at least at the moment, is just it's just going to be on the mobile phone. Yes, uh, and and. And don't get me wrong, I think, and I'll get to the mobile stuff in mm-hmm. a second. Uh, I, I I think that you do need a mobile initiative, but let's just start with a virtual console and playing those old games to give you know nostalgia purposes. And I think you should price it at three ninety nine because first of all, EA is like five bucks, right? So you gotta you want to be a little cheaper than EA, and you want to sort of three ninety nine seems like it's nothing. Like someone can pay every month, mm-hmm. right? So it doesn't seem like a lot of money, and you can always increase it as you add more features, right? You can always say now it's four ninety nine a month, five dollars. Sure, because you have like yeah, here's here's a new thing you can do like head to head play, or it's yeah. like we've been able to cross cross up platform saves or whatever it is. Yeah, all right. So you have that. Uh, 
you have too many Sonic games. Just stop. Stop. <laughs> we have just what? too many bad yeah. Sonic games. No, I mean, we had some col- yeah, colors was in there. Fire and Ice on the 3DS last year was pretty good. Uh, start with the a gimmicks. couple that were good, but yeah. Start with the, start with the gimmicks. Start with Sonic with a sword and, and all. Just just stop. Just stop making Sonic games. Do what Nintendo did with Metroid and make us miss Sonic, right? <laughs> well, just make it, us miss it, and, yeah. and, and we will buy it. Now, right now, we got two Sonic games coming out. We got an old school. We got an old school uh, 2D Sonic game, right? And we have a brand new Sonic 3D Forces, Sonic yeah. game, Sonic Forces that looks good. Honestly, they're both coming out, and you know, later this year. Mm-hmm. I think that's a bad idea. It should have been sort of where we got the the we we got the 2D Sonic game sort of as a launch with the Switch, mm-hmm. and the Sonic Forces can come out, you know, sort of a, maybe you know the holiday or even push it to next next year, mm-hmm. right? Even well, the next to, year is, to, is going to be stacked. To, but to, to to add on to that point, they definitely have to let their games breathe, breathe. and develop, right? Because Sonic Boom was awful. It was rushed to market. Sonic 06 was awful. It was rushed to market. You know. And I'm if, glad you brought. I'm glad you brought up Sonic Boom. Mm-hmm. I want. I mean, I, I want them to keep making mobile games. But expand with other IP instead of Sonic everything. Because they have Sonic Boom as a mobile game, like an endless runner mm-hmm. on, on on mobile. And I gotta say, I mean It's fun, but it's fun. It's it's better than uh it's better than Sonic Dash. But why I, I just don't understand why this is not Sonic Dash. Right? Why didn't they just update Sonic Dash? Why mm-hmm. is it a game? It's Sonic Boom two. Didn't even know they had a Sonic Boom 1 on mobile. I don't even know if they do. I got to look in the app store. But I'm confused, and that's the problem. I'm confused. <laughs> Does it make any sense? <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Why is, why is Sonic everything? Stop. Right, with the right. Sonic I mean, you know what? You know what? It may not have been the most popular franchise, but, I mean, Jet Set Radio, bring it back. You're, you're right. Jet, I can see Jet Set Radio endless runner. Right? Right. That well, I mean, better. like, I mean, uh, well, okay. I mean, I, I would take anything Jet Set Radio, but I'm like, I'm talking about like full fledged, like brand new Jet Set Radio IP, right? Well, it's niche, on that, sure, but I mean, no, no, I, no. I think they're in the position to do something I think, like that. I think, I think on the lines of which, of, uh, I'll take that idea and I'll raise it. I say a Jet Set Radio mobile endless runner, right? Instead of the Sonic endless, endless runner, because I'm tired of it. Uh, let's revive some other old IP. Let's do a, a, a new Fantasy Star RPG on PC. Mm. Right? Let's do... Uh, what happened to Virtual Fighter? Virtual Fighter 6. Have that yeah. come at all platforms. Yeah, that's been dormant for a while. Uh, Vector Man. Do a Vector Man in the Metroid Prime style. Right? Mm-hmm. Vector Man... Vector Man uh, well, it wouldn't be 2. Uh, Vector Man 3. Th- right? Vector like a- Man 3D. Come on now. Yeah, there we go. Vector Man, you know what? Now you're thinking Vector yeah. Man 3D. So have that I mean, come like, out on all platforms. But yeah. just, I mean, you got a new. Uh, how about a new Crazy Taxi on mobile, right? Well, instead sure. of instead of that, have like a, a new uh, a new Gunstar Heroes on all platforms. I mean, or like even, like basically, or, basically, you're saying they have a ton of IPs that are now dormant. Bring them up, you know. Yeah. Make new games. People want them, right? Like if you put a new sh- you put a new Shinobi out, people are going to be about it. You put a new Panzer Dragoon out, people are going to be about it. It will well, it will definitely sell if you if you give it the time and the love to be built properly. People will come, and they will love it. I think. Well, uh, well, I think the obvious one is Bayonetta three for the mm, Switch. Sure. Right. Sure. Well, right. It, it would have to be. I think. I think Nintendo. Has exclusive licensing rights, I think, or at least they uh, did with two. They're like, they're they like, did, look, they did with two. They made you know, two happen, right? They did, yeah, they yeah. Got it. So, um, you do that. Oh, here's here's another caveat. I'm tired of the Sega plug and plays. Stop, stop allowing or stop putting out Genesis plug and plays because <laughs> they well, are crap. A lot of them are crap. A lot of them the are crap. Games ones. I mean, okay, there's like. 80 games on there or whatever and 40 of those games are like 
just like bullshit um, games that were never released during its life cycle. Like they're just weird, like shovelware stuff. But I mean, they're not. Sega's not making the consoles exclusively. You know, they're they're licensing their. Uh... I know. Stop. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, sure. Stop. You know, it's like just because there's so many that comes out, right? Like they have like I think I think there's like four of them that are already out. If I'm right. Not mistaken. I think and I, I think I think probably at games made most of them. Yeah. Stop. I mean, they're okay. They're 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 definitely not like the Nintendo ones. They're they're not. They're definitely not made in house. You know, and yeah. I guess I guess I guess I think what you're trying to say is that. It's hurting the it's hurting the brand of Sega, right? It is. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know what? I would agree. I would agree in that sense. You know, as 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 much as I like them, they're not great. They're okay. So just just Sega, stop. Just stop doing that. <laughs> uh, all right. S- don't copy Nintendo ideas anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. Elaborate on this one. Okay. What are they? How are they? How are they ripping off? Uh, Nintendo? Not, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say ripping off too much, but like, uh, I don't want to see a Smash Brothers Sonic, right? Like, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to see that. Mm. I don't want to see another Sonic racing game. <laughs> yeah, <Right? laughs> he didn't like. You didn't like uh, Sonic Sonic uh, Riders for the GameCube. No, no. Just, just stop. Stop. Come up with something different for your for your IP. Come up with something mm-hmm. different. Stop! Stop! You don't, with the, you don't, you don't want another uh, Sonic party. <laughs> I don't want. I don't, I don't want another Sonic party. Yeah, so just just stop. Just stop with that. Uh, make some new IP. Come out with a brand new big IP. Right. Well, like, I mean that's yeah, sure, sure. I mean I'm sure they got it in the works, but come on, do something good. All right, like focus on that. Don't don't like what I'm trying to say is have some pride in your IP. Stop putting out Sonic games every year. Stop putting out Sonic Mobile. Stop driving Sonic the brand in the ground. Mm. You have other IP that you can use. Um, I didn't even think about Jet Set Radio as an endless runner until you said it. And, you know, uh, you know? like that would work because, you know, that would be different. Right? Yeah, and it would get it would get people interested in the game again, you know, which 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 could be you could say, like, here's a little like free to play mobile game. To gauge interest, right? And like, yeah. if a lot of people download it and they're about it, and then it's like, oh yeah, Jet Set Radio. Let's make a full fledged new 3D Jet Set Radio game on current consoles, which has been my wish for a long damn time. But like, even like, you know, like all the other like Crazy Taxi hasn't been out for a while. You mentioned that earlier. You know, they're making it. Um, they're making. They're making a new C Man game. <laughs> well. All right. Did you did you hear about that? I have not heard about this. That's they're making really semen. They're making semen too. <laughs> making semen, semen, semen too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh boy. I'm gonna I'm gonna refrain. My childhood brain is going wild. I'm gonna refrain have... from making any sort of lewd comments. Do we have to? Do we have to talk into the switch? <laughs> I'm gonna let that sit. Uh, maybe. Is there a microphone on the switch? I don't even know. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, I have it. I don't. I just don't have the mic. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's necessary to, to play. Yeah. Yeah, you, you need the mic. I don't mm-hmm. have the mic. Um, next, have a bigger presence at like E3 or any of the gaming conventions, right? Like when we go to gaming conventions, I don't see. I I, I can't speak on E3. When we go to the, like the PAX, uh, you know, I don't see any. I don't see like a Sega booth, mm-hmm. right? Like if I was Sega, I would be at a Sega booth. I wouldn't have a Sega booth with some new games and some old games just to engage the retro fan. Mm-hmm. Right. I would, I would, I would, I would engage the retro fans out there. I, 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 I want to keep them hyped for our IP. Mm-hmm. Right. And, and this is where you can sort of get a, get a, you know, you can survey, you could sort of survey the land because you can have some old games out there and you can see what people are, 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 are excited about that you can probably remake mm-hmm. and maybe have some demos of some ideas to see how people like it. I don't yeah. know. I'm just yeah. coming out with new, just something off the top of my head. Just to, like, if you want to engage support mm-hmm. for older IP that's been dormant for like 20 years. Sure. Right. And I, I, I agree with, I agree of, with most of what you said, like a hundred percent. I'll add to that. 
And I think one thing they are doing right and they need to continue doing is to is to be a publisher of triple A titles, right? Because yeah, they were the I'm not, they saying, were the, I'm not they saying stop. No, keep doing that. Yeah, I mean, they put out um the Alien game that uh that came out a couple of years ago, which was fantastic. Uh they put out all the creative assembly games. They do like the Total War series, I think. I think Sega's produced most, if not all of them. And those are fantastic. I mean, they do uh, really well, you know, like, you know, keep doing that, um, you know, put out, put out your own games too, obviously, because, you know, you have a, you have a ton of stuff to work off of, uh, do the new IP, you know, produce the AAA games that you've been doing and, uh, you know, bring, bring the Sega forever platform to Xbox and PlayStation and Switch. You know, make that make that happen, Sega. And lastly, and maybe 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 I say this tongue in cheek. Mm-hmm. Every every game that Sega has has to start out Sega. Oh my God! Yes, hundred percent. That's the branding. That's branding. Exactly. It's the it's the it's the freaking throwback. See, Sega, I can make you forever. <laughs> hire hire us. We can do it. We can we can do it, baby. We can we can bring you back to greater and better things. We can make Sega great again. Mm-hmm. And Give me that- a Sonic hat. Give me a Sonic hat. All right. Well, uh, that's our show. Episode seventy-eight in the books. Fourth of July spectacular. Uh, so we want to wish everybody a happy Fourth. Uh, we want to thank everybody for uh, for being supporters, uh, liking and commenting, and doing all the good stuff that you guys do. Um, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Google Plus at Rated G for Gamers. You can always email us at Rated G for Gamers at gmail.com. So please like, listen, subscribe, and as always, keep gaming.